Hey guys, so today I'm going to have my November favorites for you guys. I also, this is also kind of like September, November, because I don't think, I don't think I did September favorites. I think I combined two months. I don't know. All I know is it's December 2nd now, which means it's my birthday month. Hey! Also Christmas, but I think retail like ruined Christmas a little bit for me. Like I'm definitely like not as stoked for Christmas as I have been in past years and I think it's because working retail, especially in a mall, you're constantly surrounded by Christmas decorations, Christmas music, and just like everything Christmas shoved down your throat like from the day after Halloween on. So anyways, it's still an exciting month. I have some things to talk about. I got some makeup, I got clothes, I got some music. So we got a little bit of everything. This video is going to be super casual, kind of minimal makeup, hair. I'm cozy right now. It's like 11 o'clock on the Thursday of Dead Week. I am currently, like, I'm currently taking a break from like a nine-page paper that I'm in the process of writing. It has been a hell of a quarter. If any of you guys are on the quarter system as opposed to the semester system, you'll know what I'm talking about. But when it comes to the quarter system, the quarter system, like, it's ten weeks for one quarter. So I take three classes and I have that class for ten weeks. And I don't know what it was about this fall quarter, but I just had the hardest time, like, getting back into the swing of school. It took me, like, probably, like, four weeks, a full month, to, like, get in the hang of, like, okay, I'm in school now, I have to do homework, like, I have to, like, do school things. It took me a really long time to, like, get into that mindset and get back into that routine, and so, since that was, like, half the quarter, it put me so far behind, and, like, that's why I haven't been uploading as much as much this month and, like, the past couple months because this quarter has honestly just been, like, difficult. Like, my classes aren't difficult, but, like, uh, me trying to get back in a school routine has been really difficult and then it's made difficulties for me now at the end of the quarter and I'm constantly having to play catch up. So, it sucks, but I'm excited for next quarter. I'm graduating in two quarters, and I'll have my bachelor's in sociology, which will be really, really cool. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, so I'm so sorry for not having videos up as consistently as I usually do. But I just wanted to film tonight for you guys, even if it was a little bit casual. I'm sure you guys don't mind, because I'm sure 90% of you have your hair up in a bun like this and are in sweatpants like me right now. So let's just pretend this is a pajama party, and let's talk makeup. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> so first thing I want to talk about is like an oldie, but a goodie. I've just like re-fallen back in love with it, and it is the e.l.f. bronzing palette. Now, mine is a little bit weird, because... One of these is from the contour palette, I believe. Yeah, because these, like, you can pop them, you can pop them right out. And I remember once when I got this, I switched one of them. So the, the, bron the contouring palette is really good, too. I know my friend Vegan Beauty Addict loves her contouring palette, but I just love this bronzer palette. If you guys have been watching my videos, I've been using this a lot in my just, like, everyday videos. I have been loving this, like, warm kind of shimmery color, and then I mix it with this more cool-toned color, which I'm pretty sure this cool-toned color is the one that's from the contouring palette. I may be wrong, though. If yours looks exactly like this, just ignore me, because I may be totally wrong, but um, I've been loving mixing those two colors, because this is a really, really pretty contour, and then this is just a really gorgeous bronze. Like, it's just a really, really pretty, good undertoned bronze. So there's the cool toned, there's the warm tone, and when they mix together, it's just really, really pretty, and like, look how pigmented they are, and they blend out super, super nicely, like, they're super buttery, and I just love them, and I think these, like, compacts are six dollars, so four colors for six dollars, it's really, really awesome. The only one I don't use, like, pretty much at all is this one, is because it comes off a little bit pink toned, and like, pink toned bronzers just kind of like throw me off. I'm not about them. And then the other one is nice. It's just a little sparkly. Like, it's a lot sparkly. So I just don't use it as often, but I should because it's a really, really pretty color now that I'm swatching it. <laughs> so, yeah. Elf bronzer palette. You just can never say enough good things about affordable, cruelty-free makeup. So just want to throw that out there that this is an oldie, but it is a goodie. Next is a super, super new, really, really exciting find. This is the Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection, like, Precision Blending Sponge, I think it's called. I may be totally wrong, but I know it's by Real Techniques. I know it's their, their precious... No. Their, um... 
oh, Bold Metals collection, and it's a new blending sponge. When I first saw this, I was like, that thing is going to be so gimmicky. Like, I was worried that all these little, like, edges would, like, leave edge imprints on your face. And I was just like, N like, what? And I'm pretty sure this is more... I'm going to look up how much this is, because I'm pretty sure it's more than this one. Okay, it's it's $9.99, so it's not nearly as bad. I thought it was like $16.99, so it's $9.99, whereas one of these is $5.99, or $4.99, $5.99, $6.99 sometimes. Yeah, so it's really not that much. And this is so good. Jess, Vegan Beauty Addict, sent this to me in a cute little care box. I love her so much. And, like, that's the reason why I didn't buy it, like... I wasn't, like, super, super quick to buy it because I was like, this is going to be so gimmicky. Like, are you kidding me? A, like, br like, a, like, sponge, like, as a diamond, like, uh, no. It's so good. This thing feels like the Beauty Blender. I'm not even kidding. I mean, you guys know that when I did my Beauty Blender and Real Techniques dupe, like, this one, but, like, this would kill that other one in a battle. This one, this one is so, like not nearly as dense as this one. Cause like this one, when you feel it, like this one barely squishes and this one like squishes so freaking far and this one's just like meh. And this one is like squishy. It feels so light and just bouncy and airy and so like it's huge. Like this surface area I put on my foundation so, so, so quickly. And then you can just use like this. I thought the tip would be weird. I thought the tip would like leave weird marks, but it doesn't at all. Since it's so soft, the edges, like, don't really matter. They just kind of, like, soften out once you place it to your face. It's, it's insane, you guys. It's so freaking good. I love it more than the Beauty Blender. I love it more than my original Real Technique sponge. Like, this, this is just so much more dense, and I do like that the Beauty Blender is lighter, but I love this one more than the Beauty Blender. It is so good. I just can't believe... You just gotta get your hands on one of these because they just feel so soft and light and I'm getting foundation all over my fingers. <laughs> but it just feels so soft and lightweight and just so good. So good. So if you haven't tried it already, go out and buy yourself one. Use the 350 coupon. Do what you gotta do but get your hands on it because it is so freaking good. Okay, next is another, like, makeup tip that I also got from Nikia Joy, and I will link her down below this time. I totally forgot to last time. I will link her down below, but she shared more, like, tips for oily skin, and the last one that I learned was to take a sponge and, like, use your sponge to pick up powder and really, like, press the powder into your pores. Like, literally, like, press it into your skin. And this next one that she shared was to dust a really, really light layer of mattifying powder after you prime, but before your foundation. It sounds crazy because the rule is like you never put liquids on top of powders. That's just like a big no-no in the makeup world, but it works so well. You just like, I literally will take my Real Techniques, or not my Real Techniques, my e.l.f. complexion brush, and then this is my Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Mystifying Mattifying Powder, and I will literally just like swirl it like that and dust it off, and then just like dust all over my T-zone. And you can feel it on your skin. It feels like really soft and kind of like, you know, that kind of silica powder feeling where it's just really smooth and soft. And it works so, so, so well. And the other day I was in Ulta because they just opened an Ulta near me. Super exciting. And they gave out like 20% off coupons for like the mall employees since it opened in the mall. It was like a grand opening 20% off. So I was in there shopping trying to find a new setting powder to replace my next set and don't fret it. I know, it's crazy. Um, one of the representatives from Honest Beauty was there, and I ended up picking up their Invisible Blurring Powder. I don't have, like, enough to say about it to add it in my favorites. I tried it for the first time tonight, actually. Um, she was, because I asked the, like, Ulta, the girl that was working at Ulta, I was just like, hey, do you have any good recommendations for a loose setting powder that's cruelty-free and really good at keeping my face matte? And she showed me a couple, and she pulled me over to the Honest Beauty, like, 
section and one of the workers like they have representatives from companies come in on like busy days to like just kind of you know be educators to both the customers and the employees so there was a representative representative from honest beauty there and she was tell telling me all about this powder how like one of her coworkers has extremely oily skin and she loves it blah 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 and she was like oh yeah and one of my coworkers like takes a little bit of this and dusts it on her face before she puts on foundation and i was like i've been doing that oh my gosh so it actually actually works really really well it just kind of acts as another barrier for your oils to like not get through and I've had days where I have to go I've like put on my makeup at like 10 and then I go from school straight to work and don't get home until like 10 p.m. like I still get oily but I don't get oily nearly as fast so just take whatever your favorite mattifying powder is and try it out don't put too much like literally just like just put a little bit on and see if it helps because it really helped me okay next items these I talked about these in a tutorial because I couldn't find like I had bought this one which is these are new Nick NYX suede matte lip liners these are like, almost identical to the NYX slim lip pencils I have so many of these you guys I have so many. I have so many of these. They're like those, but better because they're a little bit creamier and not nearly as waxy. And all of these come in the same colors as the NYX Liquid Suede. So I have the shade Soft Spoken, which is that really pretty mauve. I have the shade um, Sandstorm, which is that nude. And then Brooklyn Thorn, which is this really pretty, like, kind of purpled brown. Right now I am wearing a sandstorm with gloss on top that I'm about to talk about, but these are just like the 2.0 version of the NYX Slim Lip Pencils. Like if you like those, I think you'll like these more because like I said, they are inexpensive. I think they're the same price or like 50 cents more expensive. They're just so much more they're just better to work with because those ones are kind of waxy. They're a little bit stiff, but these ones like are still like I like a stiff lip liner because I like my lip liner too. I don't like my lip liner too creamy because I feel like it's just going to slide everywhere. Like I want my lip liner to stay. And these still feel like they're going to stay, but they just feel a little bit creamier. Just like a little bit creamier than the slim lip pencils. You know what I mean? So they're just like the slim lip, lip pencils like 2.0. They're bomb. I love them so much. And then the lip gloss. I don't remember if I've talked about this in my last video, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but this is the Steely Style Go-To Gloss in Uncovered, and this is the lip gloss that I'm wearing right now. Can we just appreciate it? It's so, so, so pretty. When you look at it in the tube, it's just like a nude, but when you look close up, hopefully you guys are going to be able to tell, there's like tiny, kind of iridescent, like, gold micro glitters. It is absolutely gorgeous like on your lips like I said it kind of looks iridescent and just gives your mouth just like this beautiful like pouty glow I love it so much it's not sticky it reminds me a lot of the butter glosses um I wear this by itself like completely like nothing else on my lips just a little bit of this right now I'm wearing it like I said paired with a little bit of lip liner I wear it on top of like matte liquid lipsticks or matte regular lipsticks it's bomb and I think it's like $4.99 and it smells really, really nice, too. So, yeah. And you can use the code Kitty Snack for 15% off any Steely Style order. And I'm about to talk about another product from them. So, recently, they came out Steely Style that is... <clears throat> which is, like, a pretty small brand, but they're a really, really amazing brand. I, like, found their eyeliner super, super randomly when I used to work at Hot Topic. Fell in love with their eyeliner. They reached out to me to, like, start sending me more products, and so I was like, sure, and I've actually fallen in love with a ton of their products. So recently, they came out with these, um, what are they called? High Impact Palettes. They have a blush palette, which I've, I've used in a tutorial that is going up soon, or it's up already. Um, this is the classic matte palette. I'll open it up and show you guys the colors. And the Rainbow Riot palette. 
and my personal favorite, the Precious Metals palette. And this is the one I want to talk about, like, this one is so damn good. The matte, like the other ones, are good, but some of the mattes aren't as pigmented as others. Like, I did a tutorial with the classic matte one, and like this shade, like Bourbon and Latte, were like so just like pretty and pigmented and buttery. Like, look at that. Um, but then I got down, oh, and I also used like these blues, and they were super pretty. But then I got down to like this brown and it looks pigmented but it just didn't build up as much as I wanted it to so they're a little bit inconsistent in the mattes but I would say they're like good enough to say that this is like a good palette you know there's more goods than there are bads this one is so good these are like makeup geek foiled eyeshadow dupes in a palette and these are $11.99 each and they're all vegan every single one of these palettes are vegan so that's really nice they're also cruelty free and logical harmony approved now i believe yes they are um but these are so good these just have like the only difference between these and the makeup geek foiled shadows is the makeup geek foiled shadows feel a little bit more buttery whereas these ones feel not gritty but they have a little bit more fallout than the makeup geek foiled shadows which i mean the makeup geek foil shadows are like ten dollars a piece and this is $10 if you use my 15% off coupon, $10 for all of these. But let me just, like right now, I'm wearing sandstone and opal. It, it, opal in my inner corners and sandstone literally all over my lid up to my brow bone. And then I just took a MAC, like, brown in the crease. Um, I used this shade Meteorite in my recent um, new concert tutorial. But let's just get a couple, like, look at these... They're so gorgeous, just like so absolutely gorgeous. I love this color rose gold. It's just a beautiful rose gold. Can you see? Can you see? Oh, it's so, like, they're just so freaking pretty. The only downside is they do have a little bit of fallout, but honestly, like, it's such a good palette for the price, and, like, if you have, you know, a shade or, like, a all-matte, like, neutral eyeshadow palette, and you pair it with this, you have, like, so many more com combinations you can do. And this, like, opal shade I have been loving for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight. It's so good and so affordable and vegan, which is awesome and just great. Okay, and I'm currently about to use one of the things I want to talk about. Um, so forever ago, like when I first went cruelty-free, for months after I went cruelty-free, I had the hardest time replacing my makeup wipes because my makeup wipes that I used to use were just like from TJ Maxx and I just didn't know if they were cruelty-free and so I just like wanted to ditch them. I have tried Yes 2, I've tried Burt's Bees, I've tried like so many different brands and I hated them all. I tried a cure. I tried um like uh I can't remember the name of it. But <laughs> finally um Vegan Beauty Addict was like girl the elf one. I was like no they're gonna be too soapy. Like I, I don't know why I had such a hard prejudice against these given that I love so many things from elf. So when I was in LA and stayed with her I bought like I used one of these and they're so freaking good. So I just wanted to throw these in here that these are the makeup wipes I have been using and loving. They are a little bit more wet than most makeup wipes. Like they're really really wet but like they get the job freaking done. Like, no traces of makeup, doesn't sting my eyes or face, doesn't make my face red. They're $3 for 20 I usually buy them in two packs, so I have 40 for $6, which, like, is the same price as a bunch of 30 packs, you know what I mean? Like, okay, so that is all we have for, like, makeup-related items, so let's get on. I have some fashion and then a little bit of music. So, first thing I want to talk about are two items that I have talked about on my personal Instagram. I'll put my personal Instagram here. It's Angry Girl Feminist, and I just, like, it's kind of my, like I said, it's my personal Instagram. It's for all things, like, body positivity and feminism and blah, 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 blah. So, if you don't like feminism and if you don't like body positivity, don't dare try to follow me. <laughs> but I've just found, I had a really good shopping day yesterday, and I want to share it with you guys. First thing is a bralette. Now, like I said, I bought this yesterday, but I've been wearing this since I got it. It is the softest, most comfortable bralette I've ever worn. Like, I'm literally wearing the black one right now. I bought a black one, and I bought this, like, 
blue and black striped one. My problem with bralettes is I can, like, the cup is always way too small, and if I size up, the band gets really big. So, like, I'd probably be a medium in most bralettes. I'm a large in this one, if you guys are comparison. I'm a 32, I'm a 32 double D normally, and I'm a large in this one, so just for size comparison. Um, but yeah, bralettes never work for me because, like, I'd have to do, like, a large or an extra large for the, like, the cup to fit my boob, but when I get to a large or extra large, it's way too big around my waist, so it's just, ugh. but I've been so anti-bras lately. I hate bras, and I just, like, I haven't, I've just been wearing, like, like, sports bras and just kind of, like, comfy, kind of, like, I don't know how you, they're like really really thin sports bras you know what I mean they aren't like super harnessing but they're just like like this type of strap just like kinda just like a boob hug sort of bra you know what I mean I haven't worn a real bra in months I'm super just anti bras right now so for me to find an extremely soft comfortable bralette that just like hugs my girls so well and is just comfortable and like not fussy, not itchy. It's amazing. And these were only $12.99 at Target. They're from Acceleration. Um, I will link them down below because they're so comfy. Everybody loves Target. Go into Target. Look for these bralettes. They're so, they're so soft. They're that like, you know that like soft PJ pant material that's just like super stretchy but like literally feels like a bunny. Like it's so soft. Yeah, that's, that's how these feel. It is bomb. Like, just, mm, I love this bralette. I'm gonna go buy the gray one, because I'm pretty sure these are gonna be my new favorite bras, so I just want to stock up, because I love them. Then I have some jeans. This is more like, these jeans aren't like anything like crazy spectacular, but I just want to share it with you guys. So, I have the hardest time finding jeans. They have to be stretchy, because I have like thighs and a butt, but like a smaller waist. So, if like the pants fit my thighs, they'll be too big around my waist, or if they fit my waist, I can't get them over my thighs. So I have a really hard time finding pants that fit, and there's a Charlotte Russe in my mall, and like before I've never even, I've never shopped at Charlotte Russe because there wasn't even one at, like in my hometown at all. And Charlotte Russe, if you're not familiar, it's kind of like Wet Seal, Forever 21, like kind of, kind of like Rue 21 and Wet Seal had a baby, like is kind of what it is. So some of their clothes are like kind of cheap, I want to say, but I really, really like their jeans. So this pair, they're just cute, ripped, you know, you guys know I loved my ripped jeans. And these ones are, I think it's like the skinny boyfriend fit. So they are just like a little bit more high rise, but they're a little bit bigger in the leg, which is nice because it gives my legs a little bit of room, but they're still stretchy and they still pinch in at the waist nicely. So many pairs of jeans, like when they get to the waist, it just does this instead of this, and I need it to do this so that it pinches at my waist and I don't have to constantly wear belt. But I got a pair similar to this last week like, yeah, like a week and a half ago, and they were on sale for $25, which is such a good price. They have, like, ones without, like, ones without rips that were on sale for $20, but you guys know I loved ripped jeans. Um, so I got these ones that were $25, but still, like I said, super, super affordable. Um, so I got one pair, fell in love with them, literally wore them, like, three days in a row, like, almost wore the exact same outfit three days in a row, because I just love them. They're comfortable. They're just, like, comfy jeans. They aren't too tight. They just fit. I'm, mm, they're just good, and they go with so many outfits. So I went in yesterday and bought a another pair. So this is just kind of a disclaimer that Charlotte Russe has really cute jeans, and also, they run a little bit big, which I think is nice because I think so many times women's, like, young girls and, like, women's denim runs small. Like, I know, like, I know Forever 21's jeans can run small, H&M's jeans can run small, like, um, PacSun's jeans run so freaking small. Like, I can fit, like, these are a four. Normally, I'm a three to a five. These are a four, and they fit, like, nicely, but I could also, like, I wanted a little bit of room, and, like, the twos fit really well, too, and I'm, like, never, ever a two. So, if you are a little bit curvier and have 
problems finding jeans, I would definitely check out Charlotte Russe because they're affordable and I think they're a little bit more curvy girl friendly. Um, and also they do have plus sizes available as well, which not very many stores in malls do. So yeah, just check them out. Just kind of a PSA because I know the jean struggle is real. Okay, last fashion item are a, another thrift store find. So I'm sorry because you probably won't be able to find these exact ones. But you guys seemed to really, really love my thrift store haul. So I'm going to try to include thrift store finds in as many favorites videos as I can. And look at these boots. You guys know I talked about the other boots that I got. I'm obsessed with like chunky heeled short little booties like this. This is these are by the brand No Boundaries, which is a pretty affordable brand. Like I'm pretty sure No Boundaries is that like Payless and stuff, but these are just so cute. Like with black jeans and a camo jacket, these kind of like give the kind of like Tim's vibe. They're so cute. So just like fun and comfy and just like bomb. I found them. They were 10 bucks. So I just wanted to throw those in there because I love these boots so much. I think they're so cute. And I definitely want to do a 100% thrift store lookbook. So if that's something you guys want to see, just let me know and I will make it happen. But I think I have enough to do like full outfits with things that I found at the thrift store. So I think it'd be a fun video. Okay, next let's talk music. So if you're tired of hearing me talk, you can totally like X out of this. I totally understand. But I forgot to talk about music. Last time I in my video, or like in my favorites video, I said that I was like, oh, I have music for you guys, and then I totally forgot to talk about it. So we have a little bit of music to talk about. First of all, I have a couple Spotify playlists that I have just been obsessed with. I've been super, super obsessed with like kind of throwback early 2000s hits. So this like all out, like Oh, oh, like all out 2000s. I've been playing so much. There's like Every Time We Touch by Cascadia, Complicated from Avril Lavigne, um, You Remind Me, Since You've Been Gone, Fireflies by Owl City. Yeah, we got some Oops, I Did It Again from Britney Spears, um, American Idiot from Green Day, In Sync. It Wasn't Me from Shaggy. Like, these are just, like, such good jams. It's just, like, a good, like, shower playlist, party pr playlist, getting ready for work playlist, driving to work playlist. It's just an amazing, like, it, it's an amazing all-around, like, throwback hit favorite playlist. So I will link that down below for you guys. It's called All Out OOS. And you can find it on, it's like a public Spotify playlist. It's so good. I talked about this a while ago, like, if I made a playlist of all my favorite songs and, like, shared it with you guys, if you guys would be interested. And a few of you guys did, and so I made a playlist of all my favorite songs more for, like, for me, so that I could just have all my favorite songs. But I made that playlist, and I've been listening to it nonstop, so I just want to talk about a couple songs that are on the playlist. Um, the playlist is just called Kitty Snacks Favorites. That's, that's all it's called. Just kitty snack like how it's spelled here. Um, if you guys read in my description last time, because I like realized I forgot to talk about the music and I just wrote a little blurb about it in my description, but I just want to like talk to you guys about it because some of the songs are like so amazing. So one of the first songs that I've been obsessed with is um, Starting Over by Macklemore. I love Macklemore. Sorry, not sorry. I love him and I love how public he is with like his struggle with like drug and alcohol abuse and the song starting of over is about relapse and for those of you guys that don't know my mom is a recovered alcoholic. She has been sober since 2010 so it's amazing. So like things, stories like this really really hit home for me. Um, I want to be a drug and alcohol abuse counselor like I it hits home. And starting over is about him relapsing and like the struggle of like you know now you're a failure and like now like all of these things and the very very last line is if I can be an example of getting sober I can be an example of starting over and that just like hits home and like is really just one of those statements that's just like you're not perfect you don't need to try to be perfect you just need to keep trucking on and like Oh, it's so, it's so good. And then the next song I want to talk about is For Mayor in Splitsville by Law Dispute. <clears throat> now, I used to, like, 
be so anti law dispute like when I worked at Hot Topic they would play every once in a while and I was like oh they're like talk singing oh I can't and this song my my roommates used to play all the time in the car and it was just like really really powerful it's about divorce but it attacks divorce in this way that's like we should talk about how I describe it it talks about divorce in that like it's something that needs to be taken seriously that like couples aren't happy and like we need to be vocal about that and we need to like talk it out get it out on the table and not like joke about it because there's so many jokes about like how like oh you get married and you're miserable you'll never have sex again blah 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 and it just kind of like attacks that mentality that's just like we shouldn't joke about this like this tears families apart and so just like the lyrics are so powerful like absolutely so powerful and the whole song is really powerful a lot of Dispute is really like poetic um, and it's just ah, it's just so good. I actually did a project. I'm in an advocacy through media class right now um, and I had to do a project on like a song that talked about an issue and I did a project on that song because it talks about divorce in such an interesting way that you don't normally think about. It's just a great song. If you guys know the song then you guys probably know what I'm talking about, but it's just so freaking good. So I've been really loving that entire album. It's um, The Rooms of the House from La Dispute. I've been loving that whole album, but that song specifically, just like, it's one of those songs where I just listen to it over and over and over and can't get over how good it is. Like when I was writing my paper about it, I literally listened to it on repeat and was not sick of it at the end of the paper. It was a short paper, but still. Okay, you guys, that is it for my favorites. This is gonna be a long ass video, so I hope you guys don't mind. I just haven't filmed in a really long time, and I feel like I haven't filmed this type of video where I'm just kind of like talking to you guys about my life and stuff in a super, super long time. So I hope you guys don't mind. So comment below what things you've been loving this month. Give me some song suggestions. Give me some makeup suggestions. Whatever you guys want. Give me some, some give me some suggestions for videos you guys want to see next. I love you guys so, so, so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!